A cheap smartwatch might not have every feature possible, but it's still sufficient to keep your tech-loving heart happy. Halo RS4, the watch with an amazing AMOLED screen, also referred as the Halo LS12, is a great entry-level smartwatch and the price won't break the bank. Welcome back, this is Adam and you're watching Family Pop TV YouTube channel. In today's video, we will put the newest Halo RS4 into few real-life tests. I will challenge its heart rate accuracy, as well as SPO2 and step count accuracy. This is something I couldn't find in the other video reviews on YouTube. And I will check if it's really waterproof and will show you through its main features. I even traveled to Eastern Slovakia to check how it performs during heavy physical activities such as chopping wood. So if you want to take a closer look at the RS4, stay with me. Halo is the Chinese brand that's been growing in popularity and it's known for fantastic true wireless noise cancelling earbuds and affordable smartwatches and brands that we immediately associate with Xiaomi. And that's right, because Li Sheng and Halo became the members of Xiaomi ecosystem and they are major players in the smart consumer technology industry in China. Inside the aesthetic looking box, we can find the watch itself, a manual and a warranty card, and the USB charging cable. Unlike the Halo RT2, which I reviewed recently, the RS4 has a square design that looks very clean and elegant in black, and it's suitable for both men and women, and features a smooth 2.5D curved Gorilla Glass in a metal frame with a brushed finish. It certainly doesn't look like a budget watch. The body is slim and light and made of high quality aluminium alloy which makes it lightweight at just 48.6 grams and therefore comfortable on the wrist. If we flip the watch you can see the magnetic charging port to fuel up the smartwatch and the two heart rate sensors and the infrared SPO2 sensor in the center. At the side of the watch, there's one multifunctional button. The strap on the RS4 is made out of silicon, lightweight and comfy on the wrist for long-lasting use. Obviously, you can customize the look of your RS4 by replacing the 20mm bands of your choice. I personally like the magnetic straps or leather straps. There are Amazon links in this video description where you can find some good looking alternative straps for your RS4. My favorite part of Halo RS4 is its phenomenal 1.78 inches 1000 nits AMOLED display with 368 by 448 pixels resolution. The RS4 has the same display resolution as the display of the Apple Watch 6. However, the Halo RS4 hasn't got an always-on screen, unlike the Apple Watch 6. Anyway, this is probably the best screen I've ever seen in a budget smartwatch up to date, in terms of size, resolution and sharpness of the image, and certainly puts into shame displays of any other budget watches in this price range. The brightness of the display is adjustable, it has four steps, and to clarify, this is not an always-on display, as I said before. However, it lights up automatically when you move your wrist up. The RS4 smartwatch has an IP68 water-resistant design, so in order to verify if the watch is suitable to use in a swimming pool, I prepared a simple waterproof test. The RS4 is being submerged in the water for a couple of hours and we will see if it survives. As you can see the screen getting a bit crazy on the water, certainly the water interacting with the screen. Some kind of screen lock feature would be beneficial here. Hopefully Halo going to take it for consideration during the next firmware update. The IP68 of our tested unit should guarantee protection in water up to 1.5 meter deep for at least 30 minutes. It also means that our watch is resistant to dust. This is only a simple waterproof test just to verify the water resistance capability of our Halo RT2 because we want to be absolutely sure before we take in the watch to the pool. 
after about 4 hours being submerged in water, the watch is absolutely fine. It definitely survived the water challenge. That proves you can wear this watch while swimming. I did wear it in a jacuzzi and even took it to the Swedish sauna, however it's not recommended as micro particles of the steam can penetrate the seals of the watch, which means water will get in but won't get out. Luckily the watch survived all the water exposure. So the conclusion, you can wear this watch while you're swimming, however it hasn't got any sport mode to track the swimming exercise. Talking of which, the Halo RS4 offers the assortment of 12 sports monitoring modes which includes jogging, fast walking, biking, climbing, spinning, yoga, indoor running, integrated training, gymnastics, basketball, football and rowing. The watch doesn't have a built-in GPS, which means when you turn on different sports modes like run or bike for outdoors, you need your phone's GPS to connect the smartwatch for tracking routes and distance covered. Start the workout. Simply start the walking or running exercise from the companion app and this will help tracking the route of your workouts accurately. So with that being said, let's look at the accuracy of the pedometer in RS4. I've been testing the watch step count using a manual tally counter. I have done exactly 1000 steps manually clicking the tally counter for each step and the Halo RS4's count is pretty decent, nearly spot on. In the first trial, for manually counted 1000 steps of various length, walking with various speed using the stairs etc etc, the RS4 captured 994 steps which gave us a 99.4% of step accuracy. That's great! In the second trial, I tried some fast walking with the high paced steps of the same length and the RS4 captured 997 steps and this gave us 99.7% of step accuracy, that's impressive, don't forget this is still an entry level budget watch. I know it's a bit crazy, but I have travelled to Slovakia and checked out how does the watch behaves during heavy physical activities, in this case I've been chopping wood locks. To measure it, I have chosen the integrated training exercise. In around 12 minutes, I burned almost 100 kilocalories, so it's twice as much as I would burn during jogging or fast walking in the same time. Anyway, I really enjoyed this activity. The RS4 uses the Halo Fun companion app that you install on your phone, which is where you set and control most of the functionality of your RS4. Halo Phone app itself is a simplistic tool for tracking the activity and health stats. You'll have to scan a QR code with your smartphone to get to the Apple Store or Google Play as the app is compatible with both iOS and Android. Once the app is installed, make sure you got your Bluetooth turned on in your phone, but do not connect with the watch from the Bluetooth screen. You'll have to do it from the app. Click on Add Device, then click on Halo RS4 then just confirm pairing request and allow the notifications, as this will push all the data from your phone into the watch. In the comments for our previous videos, some of you have been asking, can I use the watch without a phone? Well, yes and no, because when you first get your RS4, it requires the phone to set it up. Once this is done, you might leave it connected, so it will work as an extension of your phone. But you may also disconnect the Bluetooth, so when the watch will work as a standalone device, you won't get any messages, notifications, weather info and health stats, and the health and sports statistics will be reset on a daily basis, as watch hasn't got enough storage to keep it in. By the way, the RS4 shows you all the notifications from the phone, for example, SMS, social apps messages, info messages from the apps, like YouTube, LinkedIn, TikTok, etc. The watch also shows you the incoming calls, however you can't pick the incoming call as the watch hasn't got a microphone built in, you could only drop the incoming call. The main menu in the Halo RS4 combines little icons and widgets, and the first icon is the daily sports stats, and the second icon is the heart rate measuring. The RS4 tracks the heart rate continuously 24 hours a day, 
Well, let's check out how accurate the heart rate and the SpO2 measurements actually are against the NHS approved medical pulse oximeter. In the first attempt, Halo RS4 measured my heart rate at 75 beats per minute and the oximeter measured exactly the same value. Right, just to be sure, let's try it again. As you can see, both devices going head to head, giving us exactly the same measurements. Right, let's check it again, but this time I'll do some press ups to raise my heart rate a bit. But remember, even if the readings are so close, don't forget the watch isn't a medical grade device, so these readings should be taken only as a reference. Here we go, RS4 measured 108 beats per minute and the oximeter measured 108, 109 beats per minute. That's fantastic. Okay, one more go. And here we go, Halo RS4 measured 102 BPM, I'm calling down now, and the oximeter measured 99 beats per minute. These are actually fantastic results. Right, let's check the blood saturation measuring. This is the next icon or the next widget right after the heart rate. You have to manually trigger the SpO2 tracking. And here we got 97% of SpO2 on RS4 and 98% of SpO2 on the oximeter. Let's do it again. Right, and we got 97% of SpO2 on both devices. I'm totally happy with this. You can customize the watch faces or change building watch faces for the new styles. To create your own dial, you can use any photo or picture from your smartphone. Simply pick it, crop it, and select the best color of the font, and it's ready to upload. The RS4 has a bunch of useful features such as weather indication, by the way it works only when the watch is connected with the phone, the music app control where you could switch between the songs from your phone, change the volume and the watch can show you the title of the songs. One or two minute breathing exercise which is nothing more than respiratory minute volume which helps to calm down and help to reduce the carbon dioxide levels within the body. The watch has also got a sleep tracking, however I wasn't able to scientifically test the sleep tracking accuracy. I've been wearing my RS4 to the bed over the last 3 weeks and the watch struggled a bit with the sleep tracking. It recorded the deep sleep and the light sleep periods but sometimes struggled with recording the actual length of my sleep, often showing less hours than I actually slept. Out of curiosity, I have checked what existing users have to say on Amazon about the Halo RS4. And here we got, very good watch, exceptional display, excellent materials, very good features. The best you will find for this price. I fully agree. Next one, AMOLED screen, very nice smartwatch, recommend it. That's one from Mexico. En un artículo muy bonito, pero poco útil, which means, nice product, but not very useful. And why is that? It's not working for me since it gives me different measures against a Huawei Mi Band 6. Hmm, right. You might question the accuracy of the other device. Next one. Large screen and good colors. Yes, that's the AMOLED. You need to see it to believe it. Ideal for the first approach to smartwatches. Yes, indeed. Good for the price. Absolutely. You can buy the Halo RS4 now for 49 British pounds on Amazon UK and if you take off the discount voucher that often being available it works out at around 36 British pounds 45 to 49 American dollars on Amazon US 49 euros or 42 with a voucher on Amazon France, Italy, Spain or Amazon Deutschland or for around 990 Mexican pesos the RS4 has a 330mAh battery which lasts around 12 to 14 days when the watch is constantly paired with the smartphone and this includes a heart rate monitor running in the background 24 hours a day. Be sure to watch our other tech reviews of smartwatches to pick the best one which is going to suit your needs and your budget. 
If you think the Halo RS4 is the right one for you, don't miss this out. There's an Amazon affiliate link in the video description, so you could find it there for the best possible price. Okay guys, if you enjoyed our video, please give us a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button so you won't miss when the next video comes out. I'll see you next week. That was Adam and you watched Family Pop TV YouTube channel.